Hey guys, Marty here. Welcome back to Snappy Videos. An exciting video here for you today, guys. We are unboxing my latest Digimon X Digivice. This one's the one I got from uh, Big W here in Australia. It was 15% off. Wasn't going in to get one, but I couldn't resist with the discount there. Now, I was going to get the black and red one, as you can see here, uh, because that is, well, the way I see it, the direct opposite to the white and blue one here, and it is the other best color I could find out of the devices. I end up getting this one here. It's still it's the red X one, so it's the same one as the black and black and red one there, um, but it's just a different color. Uh, this still looks pretty cool. I do like the look of it. All right, guys. So basically today I've already unboxed one before. I will link a video here, so just check that out if you want to see another unboxing of the Digimon X. Um, for this one, we'll go through the same sort of stuff uh, and have a look at this device. Obviously, this one has different, slightly different Digimon to the blue and, uh, sorry, the blue X devices here. So if you've got one of the red X, slightly different digital one to the blue X, you can also link the two to unlock a next, uh, another area, a bit of a special area there, guys. So we might do that in a later video if you wanna stick around for that. All right, so guys, we'll have a quick look at the box here, uh, unpackage it, look at all that kind of stuff, and then we'll swap the camera over so we can have a bit of a closer look at the device itself. Uh, I'm using a different camera angle here because I've got the new office, sort of try out some new stuff, guys. So. Let me know if there's anything you think's wrong with that and we can swap it around and you know, we're, we're working with it guys. We're getting better and better of every video, especially now we've got a better setup and we can do some better camera angles, which is really good. All right guys, so just looking at the box here, if you have a look at the front, um, so just the usual Digimon sort of layout, but I do like how you've got the, the cool pictures here. And then the device here, we've also got the picture of the sprites here that you can get on here. As you can see that that is Agumon X there. And it's a really nice sprite. I like the way they've redone the sprites here compared to the normal devices, like the 20th, where the sprites, these sprites look more angrier and slightly detailed, which looks really cool. Um, that's actually not a sticker on the device, guys. There's a bit of plastic over the top, which I'll show you when we unbox it as well. Apart from that, though, guys, the Digimon logo does look pretty cool there. Flicking over the back, you can see that it shows you you can connect the devices to the older devices, both the 20th as well as the original Digimon Digivice as well. Uh, different things here, like it shows you the dice system, the Xi system, uh, which we'll get into in later videos, or if you check out some other videos on my channel, guys, I have got some details about it there. Basically, it's a, a role-based system there, um, and it's used for like attacking items, all that different kind of stuff, but we'll explain it in another video. Uh, it just shows you there's quests and stuff like that, different areas you can clear, train up to three Digimon, and new battle system, all that kind of stuff there. Uh, that's pretty much it for the box, guys, but I do like it how it gives you a bit of an idea of what's on there. Just kind of almost like a teaser, but it actually, I find it really interesting because it kind of shows you the good things about the device. Some of the things I really do enjoy, uh, especially guys that you can backwards compatible. Like That's always a good thing when you're buying a new device like this. All right, so I've already taken the tape off of here because it is a bit of a, a, bit of a mess around sometimes to do on camera. So nice and easy to undo. And let's take the device out, guys, have a bit of a look, and then we'll swap the camera over and have a close look at the device itself. So there's the box there, nice and easy. Now, this is a thing I don't like as much, and this is just picking at little details, but I don't like the, the manual. Uh, I just don't like that they've put it on paper like this. Compared to the, the 20th anniversary manual, which is a nice little booklet, which is a lot easier to look after, a lot easier to read, and less likely to, like, you could lose these really easily, or you could break them, uh, like damage them or whatever. Uh, all right, so there's obviously different languages here, so I'll put them aside and look at the English one. Uh, the manual itself is really good, guys. I really do enjoy the manual. Like, it tells you everything in great detail. Uh, information about all the different items, because in the, on this device, you can actually get uh, more items than just the meat and the protein. So you can get a lot of different things on here, which I won't go through in this video, but if you've got the manual, you can check it out. Or check out one of my other videos where I go through that kind of stuff. Uh, shows you all the different things about training it, battling it, all that kind of stuff. Um, all the different things you need to do. And as well as like this one here, I like this guys, it shows you the different different stages of your Digimon, uh, how long they'll be there for. Uh, it's even got some pictures of some of the Digimon you can have. And then it shows you how many hunger hearts, how much health they'll have, the maximum level, all that kind of stuff guys, really, really interesting stuff. And then you've got your level requirements here. So it actually shows you the amount of experience you need to get to that level. Really cool. And there's some crazy amount of experience as you get further up. Uh, pretty cool. Man, uh, manual here guys, I do like the information, it's really really good, really useful, I suggest when you get these devices, uh, you definitely read all the, the manuals here, I know there's some toys and, and devices you get where the manual is just a bit boring, like, oh, this is the buttons, change the battery, but this one really guys is more than that, it shows you a lot of details here, I really do enjoy it, as I said though guys, they could have put a bit more effort into it, um, 
yeah, a bit more effort into it and make it an actual booklet. But apart from that, the content is really good. All right, just looking at this here, guys, and we'll change the camera over in a second. If you take this bit of plastic off, as I said earlier, you've got your little sticker of your Digimon there, which is pretty cool. Uh, that it might even be useful to use somewhere in the office because looking at that on camera does still look pretty cool. All right, guys, what we'll do, I'll flick the camera over now and we'll have a closer look at the device itself. All right, guys, here we are, a bit more close up. So this is the device itself just sitting in the packaging. So I'll pop that one out now. Nice and easy to get out, just put that aside. I was just looking at the device. The X looks amazing and shiny there. The, like obviously all the work they've done on this device is really good. It does look very similar to like your 20th device. Uh, you know, the, the usual kind of layout, the buttons, that kind of stuff. But you've got, I don't know, just the colors seem to stand out more. They look better. And just that X guys, that X always gets me. I just love it. Obviously comparing this one now to the uh, like opposing type of Digimon X. So you got your blue X, red X sort of thing. Uh, if you look at that, it just really is a color difference. Everything about the device is the same. Just that that X really, guys, and obviously the background color there. Definitely nice looking device. You check out the back of it there. They're all pretty similar, like if you look at it against the 20th again. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, well, there we go. So that's looking at that. All right. So, guys, I'll turn this one on. I won't really do too much with it because, well, we've already seen that with the, the white, white and blue one there. Uh, but we'll flick it on and just have a quick look because... You know, what sort of video would it be without doing that? So just pull the tab out, guys. It pretty much sits in between the battery, stops the battery from working there. Pull that out. Digimon X. Red. And that's relating to the X there, guys. So you turn that one on, you'll get blue. Press the button. Set your time. What time is it here? All right, so this is 24-hour time, guys. So 21 is what we need. 9 o'clock at night and 9 minutes. Uh, for anyone who needs to know, top button is your hours, middle button is your minutes, and the bottom button will set the time. From here, guys, you get an egg. Uh, so basically the first Digimon, first couple of Digimon are preset, that kind of thing. And as you move along, you start to do different things to meet evolution criteria, as you were with the Digimon 20th, to get yourself the next Digimon, depending on what criteria you meet. Loads of Digimon, guys, not as many as the 20th, but still a lot of Digimon you can get, which is really cool. All right, guys, we'll wrap the video up here for this one. But what I'm going to do is a few more videos with this device. We'll connect it with the, the Blue X version. We'll connect it with some 20s. We'll do a lot of fun things there. Do some more battling, all that kind of stuff. If there's something you want to see, guys, with with either of my Digimon Xs or my other Digimon or even my, my Kmart VPET, make sure you leave a comment below, guys. I am interested in what you guys want to see. Uh, and I'll start making some content around that as well if you want. Uh, otherwise, guys, make sure to smash the like button, guys. The more likes I get, the more motivated I am to make amazing content like this and even better content. So make sure you do that as well, guys. And it does help me out with the YouTube algorithm, which is the important beast we need to look after. The egg is hatching now, which is great. And then we'll do the Zyra roll there. Got a four. Uh, yeah, guys, so make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in another video.